All right, it's 5835 Benton Heights Avenue. Got uh, row houses along this side of the street and then uh, larger single family homes right across the street here. Uh, looks pretty clean, nice, nice little area. Clean and quiet, even a few streets all around. Looks like it's a pretty decent looking neighborhood here. So we got the flat roof with the little parapet up front, uh, three tab shingles on the parapet looking pretty old there. We are an end unit, and it looks like we have a bit of settling occurring on the back. I think this back section here might possibly be an add-on. I believe that is an add-on. So, along this side you can see there's a few patched over, pretty much hairline cracks. There is a little bit of a uh, situation most of the settling looks like it's occurring on this little add-on section on the back. You can see above the lintels and along the uh, seam there between the old and the new. Decent amount of movement going on there. A little bit of step cracking there. Uh, we have parking right along the side here. Don't think most, I don't think any of the neighbors on this side of the street have parking. So that's a big plus. Yeah, because it's a big hill back there, so nobody else on that side has got parking. Looks like they possibly have parking over there. Yeah, mostly, most of these row houses, no parking now. So that's nice. Carport seems sturdy enough. And we have some more lintel cracking going on above the uh, windows up top there and above the door. So nothing too major, but definitely some movement occurring on this little add-on section. Here's a 200 amp box inside. It looks like it was about 2000, I believe 2001, I think was the date on there, final. So I think the electricity is probably good. It is on radiators. Water heater looked old. I think the uh, code date or whatever on there it was like 2004 so <laughs> looks like uh, we have this retaining wall here as well retaining wall looks like maybe about an inch inch and a half of movement away from the uh, porch not a, doesn't look like a big deal a little bit of cracking going on below the window there. I think that's pretty much the extent of the cracking on that side. So it looks like all drywall. Got wood, those kind of thin wood laminate floors up front here. A little bit of chipping going on on those. Some older wood floors on the dining room area there. Windows. I think for the most part you'd probably have to replace all the windows. We have quite a few bad seals and the rest of them have plenty of screw holes in them and they're metal windows. Drywall looks like it's mostly in good shape. Um, there's a little bit of repair work going on at the top there. That would be not quite under the bathroom, upstairs bathroom I believe. A little bit of small amount of mold there so there definitely was some leaking. Dining room section here. Also, you can tell there's a little bit of slight downhill action going towards the back of the house, starting at about right here. Bit of downhill action going towards the back, so that's from the you know settling. This is what was the original window, I'm guessing, and then this is the add-on section back here. So yeah, dining room also has a light texture on the ceiling. None of, the, none of the other ceilings have texture, just the dining room here. Same old windows, older wood floor. Kitchen, a little bit small, not a bad size for the size of the house, I guess, but we do have this separating wall here. Um, it's on radiator, so obviously there's no duct work in here. You could consider taking this down, opening it up into the dining room.
I don't know, you may need a support beam or whatever there, but that's the option. Cabinet's looking a little dirty, busted up. Old appliances. And then this uh, rear add-on section here. All these windows look like they got to go, definitely. Most of these have broken seals, and they're pretty torn up, nasty. A little bit of old repair work along there, and it looks like it's moved slight, slightly further since the uh, repair work. And then there's also a little bit of repair work here. Doesn't look like it's moved since the repair work. Something's going on out there. Um, we have a little half bath. Oh, actually, it's kind of like a full bath. Just the shower is like outside of the bathroom. So we got the plumbing here, and you got room for a full full bath. And you got this plastic down too here. I'm not exactly sure what was going on. If there was leaking through the windows, or I can't quite tell. Upstairs we have three bed, one bath. Here's the bathroom on the front of the house. All old looking, you know, old tub, old tiles, old window, radiator there. A little bit of moisture damage up on the walls there behind the wallpaper. And then also in the uh, this hallway section some water damage there. So most likely I would guess you're probably gonna have to replace the uh, roof or at least do some patchwork up on the roof. Here's some more uh, repair work from uh, roof leaks. Same old wood windows. Looks like it's been recently repainted in here. It is all drywall. Wood on the floor there. A little closet, a bunch of old wood doors. This is one of the two bedrooms on the rear of the house. Pretty much same story in here. Old wood on the floors, old windows, broken seal. Walls look like they're in decent shape, recently repainted. And the uh, last upstairs bedroom, this one's a little bit smaller than the last one. Broken seal on the window. No roof leaks in here or the other bedroom, just those two up front. And uh, walls look pretty good. Oh, here's a view of the, um, the add-on section. The roll roofing on the add-on section. So that, that looks like it's fairly old. Down to the basement. Basement, good ceiling height down here. Definitely looks finishable. Let's see. Seven foot nine to the joists. Uh, there's a little bit of light mold damage going on in some of the joists. It looks like there is, uh, I saw a small amount of termite damage up right there. But they already did the repair with the two uh, joists on the outside of it. Gas meter there looks all right. Galvanized pipe there looks all right. Main sewer line looks looks decent. Definitely a little bit of a uh, seepage coming through the walls. It looks like on the front here. Probably just need to like dry lock that. Any exposed foundation walls. So pretty much all galvanized and uh, copper piping. I don't think there's any PVC in here. Little half bath on the front corner. Wood panels, tile on the ceiling. Wood windows. Wood panel on the front portion of the basement, no flooring. And then the cinder block foundation there. 
little bit of uh, cracks and repair work. Uh, it's just uh, screw holes. I don't see any other ma major damage or anything on the joists. They look like they're pretty much good. Just a little bit of surface mold. Water heater, uh, ANS code or whatever is from 2004, so it's probably fairly old. There's a radiator boiler there. And then this rear section, which I believe was also part of the add-on there. Electric box, 200 amp box, looks good. 2001. Side door there. Oh, two two back doors. And we also got a little sub panel over here. I think I think that's a square D panel. It's screwed shut. In any in any case. Yep. All right. That's pretty much it.